tips for people who are buying property in Spain and this is the 23rd tip in this particular shirt which actually shows you that this is the second set because did 37 in the white stripe shirt now I'm the 23 in this shirt. Number 60 is accessibility. How accessible is the place you're going to buy? Why do I say that, right? If you're coming over on a regular basis rather than living in Spain and you're buying it as a holiday home, you've got to think, how can I get to that place? Is there an airport that is served by more than one company? Because if that company pulls out, and Ryanair, for example, pull out of airports on a regular basis when they get into the regular arguments with the local area about not giving them enough money, um, how are you going to get there? Is it a bit isolated? Now, we're in Valencia for example, there are not massive amounts of companies that come into Valencia, although Ryanair is one, EasyJet is one, Iberia, uh, Air Berlin, various others, they all come into Valencia, but it's also easy to get here from Madrid, it's easy to get here from Barcelona, it's easy to get here from Reus, there's going to be a new airport in Castellón, and it's easy to get from the mother of all airports in Alicante. I mean, if you can't find a flight to Alicante, you can't find a flight to anywhere. And Alicante is just two hours from Valencia, and that's if you are driving relatively slow. Usually it's about one hour, 45 minutes. So think about the accessibility of where you are, especially if you're buying a place that you're going to be renting out. Because if you're going to rent it out, you want people first to be looking after it for you when you're not there, and secondly, you want people who fly into an airport to be able to get there easily, okay? So that's the next one. Think about accessibility when you're buying your property.